Hey guys, Eddie from UrbanCrit.com. Today, this video is going to be a little bit different. In a few days, we'll be heading out to Paris for my uh, anniversary, uh, wedding anniversary it's, to be exact. For the trip, we're going to be going with the Max Backpack. It's by Able Carry. Uh, it is 25 liters. It's uh, X-Pack material on the outside. Uh, and you know, it's quite a little bit of... Uh, total capacity is 30 liters. So you can fit quite a bit in here. Uh, I think if I get wet any higher than 30, it's going to be uh, too much weight on my back. Um, what I like, the quick details, what I like about this bag is that it's got a really good spacious inner pocket. You have the uh, closed off water bottle pocket, uh, specifically for water. I actually have my purse in here, so um, that is that. And then uh, two, two compartments for one for, you know, the cavity, it's a cavity compartment, so you can put stuff in there. The other one's a lap specifically for laptop compartments. And uh, the laptop compartment on top also has slots for like SD cards or small thing to connect. You got a security pocket in the back, and um, it's, X, it's an X-Pack material on the outside. You got handles all around, and waterproof zippers, and really good cushiony straps. And the back is kind of contoured to your back and the mesh is pretty comfortable for yourself. Uh, luggage pass through, so that's good because I will be doing uh, carry-on luggage as well, so I can hang it off that. So that's the Max backpack. Um, so we're gonna go over a little bit about uh, what we're bringing with us. Um, so we're gonna start off with uh, our, my laptop. Uh, I, I don't, I'm hoping I'm not, don't have to use my laptop, but there's always times where I might have to, you know, do something really quickly or like reply to some emails. This is, I think, a 13 or 14 inch laptop by uh, Republic of Gamers. Uh, and I'm a, I'm a gamer at heart. I still play video games, not as much as before, but you know, I still do quite a bit with some friends. But ironically enough, this laptop, which is kind of for gamers, I don't actually play a lot of games on this. And I really just use this for work, so it's what I use. It's called a Zephyrus, I think like 14 or something like that. I may be butchering the name, but that is the laptop I use and it's great for work. Um, and then moving on is the camera. So recently we upgraded from, we used to have a really bulky Sony camera. Um, and it was taking it on trips and just having to deal with carry that along with like everything my kid needs and you know having just a kid just like changes a lot of things so my wife saw that and you know thank god for her she has all she actually picked up a fujifilm uh this is the fujifilm camera uh xt5 so the good thing about this is it's a lighter it's a lighter frame and this camera takes extremely, extremely well portraits. Uh, while other Sony camera I had, it took, you know, uh, it took good portraits as well. And it was like a good, like, overall camera. You know, it could handle a lot of things. Like, video, not so much, but like uh, photos, it, it could handle a lot of things. The Fujifilm here, it was between the Fujifilm or the uh, Leica, and it was really just a price difference. So we went with the Fujifilm because it was, for our purposes, we do a lot, a lot of portrait shots uh, on our trips, and especially of our kids. So, this for our purposes is a pretty good option. Um, and the, you know, the bag is free, so nothing, to, nothing special there. Alrighty, and then we have the. Uh, so we're gonna go into our the next thing, and when you travel is earbuds. So now I mean I'm using the Google Pixel buds. Uh, these are great because. One, I got them on sale, 50% off, and then two, I, uh, when you connect them, it's much easier to connect with the Google phones, and I, I run a Google phone as well, so pairing was very easy. I love the look of the, the Buds case, uh, and I love the colors of it. Uh, Google Pixel line generally does a very good job of you know, color and you know, material and how it feels in your hands. So I just really love this feeling. Our charger is going to be the Anchor 120 watt charger. Uh, you can get just the normal version on like Amazon or whatever from their website. Uh, but I was able to import this from Japan. This is only exclusive in Japan. And you might have seen some other videos. This is the Raichu edition, and it is pretty. He's sweet. I love this thing. And it's really heavy, but I just love bringing it around. Uh, they have three versions. They have the Pichu, the Pikachu, and the Raichu. Um, and I think for most people, the, 
the best choice is the Pikachu version because uh, it does fast charging, it does uh, all that stuff. It's Pikachu, obviously, and it's in a smaller form factor, so it's a little bit more portable. Um, you know, my dumbass, I just love to maximize the the performance, so I always like to get the best of the best. So it was obviously, I had to get the right shoe. And it also comes with a uh, custom anchor Pikachu wire that comes with a little Thunderbolt uh, wrap that keeps it organized. So this is what I use to charge my devices when I'm on the go. We have the battery pack here from OmniCharge. Uh, this is a 12,800 12, uh, battery pack pa capacity and it has one USB-C slot, one uh, USB slot, and then uh, a power indicator and uh, yeah, obviously an on off switch so uh, this is great this is a big capacity it's a smaller footprint uh, and it's not so heavy okay so, and then we have my watch so again with the pixel fold right with that purchase I was able to get the buds for 50% off and I was able to get a free watch and this is obviously the Google watch this Google watch you know I when they first came out looked look at the reviews it was people are like saying oh, I was okay you know it was a subpar for a watch and I would agree when compared to the big boys you know like Samsung or even Apple watch but um, for my purposes you know I you know, call me again old, but I personally think of a watch as a tell time, and I've always thought of these smart watches as a way to just as a, an extension of the phone. So what I want the watch to do is basically, if I can you know, answer a call, it would be great. I feel like James Bond. Uh, you know, if I can tell the weather, check the time, check my notifications. You know, uh, those are kind of the main things that I want my watch to do, and it, this does a job and it does really well. It's snappy. Uh, it doesn't lag. I used to use a fossil Android watch and it would lag sometimes. A lot of problems I have with the watch was the, was the side button, uh, the knob. So the problem is like, you know, when you're kind of folding your wrist, well, the problem is like when you're folding your wrist or you kind of hit something or it would set off the features, like it would, it would turn on or it would kind of start scrolling or whatever the problem, whatever happens. Um, and also the, the look of the watch was originally kind of like small and I would say feminine a little bit. Uh, and you know, as being as a guy, I prefer more masculine than looks. And I have, luckily I found Spigen. They had a kind of like a, 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 a case for the watch. Uh, and then this is kind of what it looks like. As you can see, it looks much more rugged. Uh, it has that protection so it doubles as protection it looks more rugged it looks more masculine and it feels more comfortable on the our, our wrist uh, I would say though the original strap this that comes with the watch when you put that on that's pretty that's really nice that's really comfortable um, this is not it's comfortable it's not as comfortable as the original OG strap that comes with the watch but you know um, I wear this every day and it doesn't really bother me. So this is kind of my quick access pouch. So this is gonna be in the front pocket of my bag. My, uh, here we go, Max. Max, just slide it here so I can quick access it. Uh, what's great is that you can kind of open it and then close it. It's very quick and easy. Uh, so that's kind of my quick access, access pocket. This is my toiletry bag, pouch rather. And it has all my toiletries, so it has you know, shower, you know, soap, shampoo, conditioner. It's got like a little deodorant, purpurin spray that I always try to get to use. Some wipes, you know, uh, for tables and stuff. And then this access, I have my toothbrush. It's a Panasonic. So this is a Panasonic multi shape. And what it's great about it is that this it itself is basically a battery. And you, um, you take off the top and then this comes with different pieces so different parts that you can attach to the top and you can use it for different things it's great it's really cool i saw it on like my instagram my instagram feed that's how they get you right the ads 
uh, and uh, we should probably do the firm credit. And uh, I was like, okay, yeah, that looks pretty cool. I saw it a couple of times, now it, it just got me. So I just picked it up. It's been great, actually. It's really, really helpful. Uh, I haven't taken on a trip yet, so I'm gonna, this is the first trip I'm gonna be taking on, and we'll see how it works, if it lives up to my expectations, right? <laughs> Now this is the air. This is kind of the accessory pouch. I've been I use this for like random knickknacks and shit. And I have my Matador mini blanket pouch thing. So it folds into it. It's a blanket, but it folds into itself. I kind of bring this just for Tiffany. Oh, I kind of bring this for my own daughter just because sometimes I'm I'm afraid she might get cold on the airplane. I can have a blanket for her. Uh, this is the cool towel that I got from Disney World. It's uh, basically you get it wet and it just cools you down. Uh, I know right now in New York City it's pretty getting pretty hot. Uh, and I know Paris is getting pretty warm now too. So uh, you should carry. I don't necessarily use them a lot, but these are portable clothing hangers. I got these when I was traveling in Shanghai, uh, just from like a small shop, and I haven't been didn't really need to use them, but it's good to have them. They're a good size for like children clothes too so if I needed them I do have them uh, I have my pixel this is my old pixel phone <laughs> it's like carrying around my ex uh, I have this and I'm gonna be using this for video uh, you know I, I don't want to carry whatever I'm I don't want to carry my Sony ZV-1 so I'm just gonna be using this to be filming hopefully it comes out well uh, I have my hero clip it's a Karyology Hero Clip collection. Uh, in the outer pocket, I have the Satachi multi port device. Uh, I use this to, this is another important thing, I use this for my camera because it has a SD slot uh, and I can also connect it to my phone. So if I'm going to use my iPhone, I mean, if I'm going to use my Pixel, then I have to have this to kind of connect into my phone. So those are the pouches. Uh, I'll be using the purest bottle for my water supply there. Uh, this is the 18 ounce. It's a uh, uh, good thing about this is that it's it holds temperatures for a usual cold 24 and hot 12 hours. And what the main feature of why I like about this is the glass interior. So if you pour drink, if you pour water in there, like purified water, if you pour juice, tea, whatever you want in there, it's the flavor stays consistent. Um, if you use stainless steel or you use a lot of the other bottles, sometimes the flavor changes for how long it stays in there. Um, and it, it kind of, it kind of it's, off, it's a little bit off-putting, uh, but this doesn't do that. Uh, but overall, this is a great bottle. I'm going to be putting it, more, putting it through more tests uh, just to kind of finalize how I feel about it. But overall, so far, it's pretty, pretty good. Uh, for my wallet, I used to use Secred Sacred wallets, um, but I'm switching over to the Bellroy Apex collection. We actually sell those on UrbanCred.com. Um, she could be putting it through his paces. I never got a chance to put it through the review, uh, but big fan of the Apex line from Bellroy. Uh, we also sell the backpack as well, great bag as well. Um, why I wanted to get this was because it's a small, it's a small, slim form factor. Uh, I mean, it looks much more mature. It is card focused, but it does have a slot for um, does have a slot for money as well. So I think for how I am carrying these days, this is pretty good. It would be great. And finally, what I'm wearing on my face. So usually it's uninteresting to talk about what I'm wearing on my glasses in terms of my glasses. But these are the Jin and Snow Peak collaboration. Uh, if you saw my interview with Bose Mono, I think we might have spoken about this a little bit. But if not, then uh, basically, this is a frame that's sold by Jin, and but they sell on Snow Peak and Jin uh, stores. Uh, what's the key about this is that uh, it has these magnetic circles installed to the back of these frames and what those are for is basically you can grab one of these shades that it comes with so it comes together and then you attach it to the frame and then you have sunglasses uh, these are uh, these are polarized so it's even better uh, I feel like they're scratch resistant because I've dropped this a bunch of times uh, because either my kid would basically slap me in the face and this was kind of fly off uh, but usually when they're on 
flat, they stay on usually. Uh, when they are like this, which is cool, right? This is like a callback to like my dad wearing these kind of flipping hinged sunglasses. Uh, I can't believe I'm, I'm wearing these now, but these are so convenient actually when I'm just kind of, these are kind of polarized so I can't really see my phone screen, right? So I can just flip it up, kind of take a quick look, see what's going on, reply to some emails, close it up, and I'm off. Um, so I take them off and then where do I put them, right? So then they actually come with these pouches. Uh, magnetic top, or is it magnetic? No, it's like a, it's a wire that you kind of flip, you're gonna push the sides to open and then you insert it and you close it and it comes with a carabiner and it comes with a wipe, a wiping uh, fabric that it's a little bit tougher than the usual ones you get from, with glasses. So this is, I've been leaving this outside and it's been holding up pretty well. It doesn't fray, it doesn't do anything like that. There's a little hole attached to it. So that's why I'm attached it to this car carabiner. So it's got a nice, it's a nice um, little set. And this comes together as a package. So it's great value. It's cool. I love it. And it's multifunctional. You know, at Urban Cray, we're all about function, design, and this is, hits both bullets really well. Um, so that is really it. This is really what I'm carrying with me on my carry-on. I haven't talked about clothes because uh, I'm my camel for this trip is going to be carry-on backpack, which is the Max backpack, um, and I'm going to be using a, a carry-on luggage to carry my clothes. And the reason is we're just I'm just trying to keep it light. Um, and you know when we're there, we're gonna get like a lot of freaking souvenirs, I bet. So I gotta, someone's gotta carry that back. <laughs> so uh, I'm just leaving it empty just in case. Uh, I do have two pouches. It's gonna be, I, we can talk about that later on in another video maybe, but uh, it's really just quickly peak designs. The small, the, the I think the medium or large, whatever. And then a, a bound, boundary supply packing cube and um, just a, oh, and a matador, carryology cloud packable bag so when I get there I can kind of unravel use that instead of the bigger bag okay cool so that is the video thank you for joining us today um, you might pick up some sounds of what's going on in the house sorry for that I hope the video the lighting has gotten better we are moving soon so hopefully that will also help once we I move into our new office and keep tuned with our Instagram and we're on threads now I don't know how hot or how long it's gonna be but I'm posting on that crazy because it's so fun and um, stay tuned for the next video I appreciate it thank you so much I really appreciate all the support and you know comments and suggestions and criticisms and you know all that fun stuff so until next time see you later man peace Uh, I, I love the look.